This is the boat dress what I told you guys before. Now, if you read this, you will see that he came to use her. He used her, he took money from her, he tried to get as much as he could, and the moment he wasn't getting any more from her, he switched to the next. Now, I need you to know that while he was doing this, this is not the only one he had, okay? This woman is not the only one he had. He had other people too. He was getting money from now. This is how scam is. It is a game like, you just, I don't know why uh, sometimes people cannot read between the lines. Like, they keep you there. There's nothing, there is nothing they will give. They just talk, their mouth is sweet. They talk to get you to do what they want. I've often told you guys that a Nigerian man can say anything to get what he wants. Now, this is not to say that Nigerian men are liars. But the thing is, they are very persistent. Especially if it's for negative, <laughs> it's going to be bad. If it's for positive, then it's very good. Like, our people were like extremists. We go for what we want and we go full in. If we are there to do good, we do good. If we were there to win that trophy, we go to win it. And so also, if they are there to scam you, they do everything possible. And you will never know. Now look at this woman. See what she said. Just imagine what he did to his sister. He did everything he could. He continued to get money from her just when she couldn't give any more. He was done. He packed up. And this is why I've told you guys that the best way and only way to keep away from scams is to keep your financials away. Because come to think about it, if someone comes to scam you and you do not give in, like you don't give them money because their game is money. Except to those who are coming for papers. Those who are coming for papers tend to stay longer until they achieve that. They even go ahead to marry the women. They even go ahead to make kids with these women. I have a story, I have comments. Don't worry, I will share comments, more comments with you, so that you will see. I'm not just making them up. These are what women are saying, and I'm serious. So what I'm saying in essence is you have to be careful. Go online, date as much as you want, keep your money away if you don't want to be used. I have a story of a woman who actually died from a heart attack. She was dating this younger Nigerian man. She was over 60 or 70 and was sitting between something year old when she contacted me i'm like leave him alone if this is a boy in the nigerian settings this boy cannot do anything for you he said oh Marian, you know he promised to marry me i'm like oh come on a nigerian 23 year old guy what does he have to offer nothing probably just left university or still in school my ladies, I just don't want you guys to be deceived. Like, it's hard to make money. One American woman told me, she said, Miriam, please share to them that it's not easy to make money out here. It is really hard. And they should understand this. We're not milking. Some of us do four to five jobs just to make money. We're not blocking it. So this is just what I want to share with you guys. Have this in mind. Be careful. Be wary. If you're giving him money, to be honest with you, he may just be in for the money and the moment the money stops coming he'll be on his way so you have to decide what you want do you want love if you want love keep your money away this way it's very easy to detect someone who's there to love and someone who's there to scam do have a good day work is about to begin i have to go back to work now bye